guys in this video i will show you how to integrate chat gpt api in laravel application so let's get started with an example so basically we will call open ai api in our application so i already installed laravel 12 application over here okay and you can see that in my vs code editor and i already run the application so let me go to the dashboard here i will create new like call chat app and where i will add one text area where you can add prompt and you will receive the uh, like receive the response okay so let me go here and create the live wire component first okay so i will just say php artisan mac live wire and chat app okay and you can see that it's created a class and blade file now let me go here and create route for it so let me go and i will use get chat app then i will just say chat app colon colon class so that means it's called the chat gpt class it's like sorry uh, live wire class so copy this okay and now let me go here into the resource view component layout and inside the app there is a sidebar i am going to add a new option over here and that's called like uh, what we have already defined over here chat app okay so i will define as a route as well okay so i can give the path over there so name chat app okay chat app and then if route is chat app okay and then i am going to say chat app save it okay and now let me go here and go to and refresh it let me run the application again php artisan sir refresh you can see that there is a chat app if i click on it right now we have nothing but if i go here and let me go here and first of all what i will do go to the partial and i will copy this uh, setting heading so copy this go to the live wire chat app so here what i will do just paste it first and here i will say chat gpt api chat save it okay and here just i keep uh, as it is the subtitle and refresh it you can see that chat gpt api chat now what i will do i will use laravel flux and i will create the form so let me create the team okay and then i will say form and i will remove the action okay and then i am going to just take a text area so where user can input the prompt so let me go here and here i will say text area so you can see that laravel 12 by default using flusk so i am just using flusk and you can see that it's defined like labels and all so i will just say copy and place folder just say first label i will just say prompt okay and i don't want uh, placeholder okay remove this and let me go here and just refresh it you can see that prompt okay and now next i'm going to add button that's called submit so let me go and just find button and yeah right now we have a button so you can see that we can use the primary button so copy this and the type will be submit okay and just submit okay save it okay now let me go here and refresh it you can see that but button is still touching with the line of the text area so what i will do i will just use take uh, a tailwind css uh, class so margin top to save it okay and go and refresh you can see that now proper prompt okay now what i will do and i will create first wire model so i will define prompt variable inside my live wire component so let me go here and go to the live wire chat app and here i am just going to say public dollar prompt okay and i'm just uh, define nothing and then wire submit to submit okay so when submit the form it will call submit method okay so just say submit and remove this and just debug the the prompt okay so just say this 
prompt okay and save it okay now let me go here refresh and i will just uh, random text and click on submit so that means now it's working perfectly fine now what i need to do i need to integrate open ai api so first of all what you need to do you need to go to the documentation of the open ai and you can see that there is i will also add this into the description so you can easily go to this uh, open ai documentation and they already given simple example how can you use it so first of all you need open ai api key so what you need to do go to the setting and go to the api keys and here you need to generate a key okay so what i am going to do i already generated so let me go back and i will go to the env so let me go my env and here i am going to just say open ai api key save it and i will put my api key over here okay i'm not going to show you in this video okay because otherwise everyone copy it so just save it okay i have saved that key okay so now let me go here and they already given the call request but we will use our own http request using laravel 12 okay so let me go here and here i'm going to just say first i will add validation this valid validate okay prompt required okay after required what i will do i will use http okay and yes yeah, support facade okay and then i will just say with headers because we already have a headers you can see over here content type application json that we need to define copy it i am going to use very simple example that what we they given just copy this and then i am just going to say authentication and there is a barrel token okay and this one i will get it from env so we will see env and what we have defined open api key that will taken from the env file then just say post method because uh, that's all post method and save okay and then i'm going to pass the model okay you can see that we need to pass the model so copy this and i'm going to use gpt 40 but you can also use the different because there are lots of uh, models you can see over here okay like o mini gpt 4.5 and all the things but uh, you can do it whatever you want okay whatever you want to use and then you can see that the parameter is input input that means you need to pass the prompt okay so what i will press the prompt this prompt and just save it and then i will store inside the response variable and then i will just say response json first let's see what uh, chat gpt is going to return so let me go here and let me go refresh and i will say just what is capital of india okay what is the capital of india and just submit it and you can see that it's given the response from chat gpt so now let me go here and there is an output inside the output there is a message and there is a content inside that the capital of india is new delhi so that means here they given the output okay so what i will do i will just use if response sorry response is successful sorry successful method okay if there is successful then we are going to display okay so let me go here and save it okay and here what i will do and i will just directly get the text and how i can get this go to the response inside the array i am going to first get the output key then i will go for zero key because you can see over here zero and then inside the zero key there is a content and inside the content key there is again zero key okay after that there is a key that's called text okay that is the our result okay and save it okay and let me remove this one okay and let's see just test it okay just debug it so text save it okay now let me go here and just 
click on submit yeah the capital of india is new delhi okay now what i will do i will create a new array over here okay and uh, then we can keep the history okay so i will say public dollar history okay and then what i will do over here is history okay and yeah i will create first what i will do is history key sorry history value and i will define like a question for the queue so that means i will take the prompt okay from using this prompt and then what i will do i will use keep this variable and here when everything is fine okay here just i will say answer for the a and i will take from the text variable okay if it's not successful then also i will say just dollar text equal to something is wrong okay so we have at least uh, answer so we can see something is wrong over there so now you can see that that's created a simple array over here and then i'm going to just history equal sorry history and i will add new key over here and i will assign this array with the q question and for the answer that is the key okay now what i will do remove this one and go to the chat app here i am going to just say new div okay i will use ul and inside that i am going to use for each loop so i will say just for each okay and dollar history okay and then inside the li you can see i will add just padding to okay and then just say div okay and i will just define the class and class will be text blue okay and just 600 okay and font will be bold okay and here will be the username because you are user is asking about the prompt so what i will do auth user name okay and yeah that's perfect and then inside the p tag what i am going to do is same thing i'm going to use the class and text gray and that will be a 700 as well and what is user is asking so i will take from the item item array and that is the questions okay so user is asking question okay and then i will add another is about AI just keep AI okay and it is returning the answer okay save it okay now let me go here and just copy this refresh it okay and just I'm paste like what is the capital of India and click on submit mm, do nothing why this happening so let me go here and there is a problem yeah this is because these history I need to keep okay copy this refresh click on submit yeah you can see that hardik savani what is the capital of india and the capital of india is new delhi so you can understand how easily we can do this so let me go here and make some more uh, space so i will see just md5 okay so some more spacing okay and just what is capital of us okay and if i click on submit you can see that what is the capital of us so you can see how easily we can call chat gpt api and this approach is a good but i want to also use the proper um, uh, way you know because right now you can see that it's using in the live wire class i want to create the service for this so let me go here and create the class for it so i will say php artisan mac class and i will say services and then i will say open ai api okay and yeah there is a problem with that like mac class i made a mistake over here so let me see just class yeah you can see that and now let me go here here's services okay yeah 
maybe there is a problem as well maybe problem with the spelling services so let me go here and rename I think perfectly fine you can make it fix okay so let me go here and then you can see over here I'm not going to use a, a constructor call API just I will say just call API and public static okay save it okay public static so I can like uh, uh, use you know static method directly okay and then what I will do I will just go here and use this facade first I will control X go here and just paste it over here save and then let me go here and copy this entire things okay control x and just paste it over here okay and then this prompt will coming from the api so i'll just say prompt okay save it and just save it okay this is good okay now what i will do and this text so at the end of this api i'm going to return this text okay save it okay and then let me go here and here what i will do just dollar text equal to uh, say open api colon colon call api okay and then i'm just passing this okay this is cool okay save okay and this is perfect so now let me go here and let's run it okay so serve it okay and copy this refresh it and if i go capital of us and click on submit yeah you can see that what is the capital of us and united states washington dc so what is the capital of india and click on submit you can see that over here i hope guys you understand how easily we can integrate open ai api with the laravel okay if you like this video then share with your friends subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys